So we got an interesting show this week, fellas. This is going to be a, a <coughs> self-assessment type of show. You know, we're going to get into us. We're going to get into fellas type stuff. Okay. So y- y'all ready to get down with it? Let's do it, son. Yeah, fuck it. All right, let's do it. Okay, so what we're going to do today is see what type of of men we are. And what I mean by that is... Natural. I was born like one. (laughs) And it begins... (laughs) <laughs> I'm just saying. What well, kind of men? <laughs> the, the the type. Can we fuck with okay. alphabets too. You better yeah, have alphabets did. coming at your ass. It's all right. At least mine's dropped naturally. <laughs> oh no shit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, nigga, we still try to get shot the ground. Oh, no, my, my English is no very good. Oh, okay. Hey. Um, all right. Yo, we can't get canceled if we ain't up. So that's it. <laughs> <You'd> be surprised. <laughs> and it's that your wheel. <laughs> You already rolling this goddamn way, nigga. <laughs> you actually get better if you get canceled early. So, oh, okay. Yeah, you you go viral if you get canceled early. Yes. It's detrimental if you get canceled while you're up top. We're gonna boycott everything. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna be the one that everybody's talking about right out the gate. Everything that has. Did a you hear what what comedian C J. Trowers said about the Jews? Yeah. <laughs> I forgot about this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's why your FICO score went down. <laughs> no, it really did it. It really did He's it. He's like, higher. <laughs> it did nothing to my score, thank God. Oh, man. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get right to it. I right, like, subscribe, follow, make comments, all that good stuff. Check around the room. You see different places you can scan. Scan those for little bits of information about... Not only Connect 360, but the Bear Den, the Three Kings, or the Beard of Kings, I'm sorry. Uh, everything that's going on in the uh, Connect 360 world. So uh, scan and see what's going on. All right. So back to what I was saying. Uh, what we're going to do uh, to start this thing off, uh, we're going to figure out what type or personality type of men we are. All right. And... For the uh, the bearded brothers who aren't there, aren't here this week, we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna rate them too. And mm-hmm. if fellas, if you don't like what's said, drop it in the comments because after that, it's out there in the universe, and that's just what it's gonna be. All right, should have been should have been here on time. Real talk. <laughs> All right. Yep. Let's okay. Just a period. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So here's what we're gonna do. Okay. Um. So. There are seven different types of males, all right? And each of the uh, seven uh, types is the type of personality they are. So you have alpha males, sigma males, zeta males, beta males, gamma males, omega males, and delta males, all right? So listen closely. I'm just going to give you a small blurb. See which one you identify with, all right? And then... Once you you got the one that you believe you identify with. Now, I'm not going to tell you the, the actual title. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to read the blurb about it. Can you be more than one or just, just pick one that's it? Go ahead, you're you're, you're going to be able to fit in all because, I mean, mm-hmm. it's it's about male. And let's be honest. I mean, we're not that complicated as men. True. I mean, we pretty much all do the same type of stuff, mm-hmm. you know, within, a, within the confines. Um... Honestly, I think the whole personality type things as far as males was created by women. Because, I mean... Like a dating site. Or, yeah, or even worse, like they, they're trying to over-complex us. Yeah. Like, we all want the same thing. We want to eat, sleep, Sexy fuck, drink, time. have sex. And, and be left yeah. the fuck alone. And be left alone. I mean, I mean that's basically yeah, men. And stop calling me to kill bugs in the house. Uh, Just grab a shoe you know and swap it. You know, and then that's like either that's a protection. dude likes to either a dude likes to obliterate or he doesn't want to mess with. It. So if we like to obliterate, still don't call us because we want to get out the gun to blow up stuff. Right. So we don't want to just run around with a damn flip flop and, and kill a spider in the corner yeah. or or shoo a, a caterpillar out the front door. Come on, man. That's, that's not what we want to do. My three year old does that to me. It's a bug in the tub. Okay, here's my shoe. 
<laughs> and I, and I, I do that because I'm trying to make her stronger. You know what I mean? I'm trying to make her brave. You flick the bug in the tongue and let it swim with her. You know? <laughs> <laughs> to I'm watch her take uh, off. Have, have <laughs> she will take bump her head. flight, nigga. <laughs> I'm being Choa. Children in the hospital. Of Atlanta. Defects be right at your ass. Right. Like, well, when you do it, you got to block the, the, the faucet and stuff. So I ain't no going that way. The other side of the tub is just the wall. Should be all right. <laughs> oh, man. All so, right. yeah. Let's try it. All right. So the first one I'm going to read. All right. This type of male, they're very reserved and tend to be quiet and self-reflective. This male personality type that tends not to be naturally occurring but caused by some life event that led to a man retreating from the world and back within himself. Their most likely personality type to move up, down, or out of the social hierarchy. All right? Uh, basically, these type of men, uh, they get real work done in the world. Um, they take pride in their skills and their competence. Uh, they don't want to lead. Uh, they have no desire to please an alpha male. They want respect <clears throat> and they're just successful enough with women to raise families and have children. Like so they're not like a ladies man. They're, you know, they're a regular type of dude kind of thing. I don't see the letter D for divorce. <laughs> That's, <they're> divorce man. <laughs> I, I don't know if that dude gets the voice mm -hmm. though. Mm -hmm. He doesn't get the voice. He, he's definitely happy wife, happy life. Though. You know what I'm saying? He, he seems like that type. Okay? Mm -hmm. So that's the first type. Second one. And of course, I'm not reading straight down lines, so yeah, don't yeah, think I'm going alpha. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm skipping around and make it a little more. Okay? This male is very friendly and respects the others. They have great social skills, and people tend to like them for their laid back approach to life. They tend to be open and kind to others as they seek to be liked and appreciated. They have a high social intelligence for intrapersonal relationships. Mm. Some of these can be reserved and some can be shy and don't like to share their opinions publicly because they don't like negativity and conflict. Okay? Interesting. They're very loyal and a great friend to have. They make the best employees because of their integrity. They can be great family men and they do anything for their wife and children and can make their can make them their number one priority. He's a nut. <laughs> He's a nut. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, so so we got a sip and a nut right out yeah, the Yeah, I'm like, oh yeah, that's that's, that's me, y'all. That's me. Okay. <laughs> All right, the next one. <clears throat> this male tends to be clever and cunning and likes to play outside of the system itself to get what they want in life. Uh, they're excellent with persuasion and thinking outside the box. The biggest difference with them and another type of male is they don't seek approval from others and they don't care what others think about them. They don't care about the rules. They tend to be loners. Uh, they have their own internal compass, and they play by their own rules. They can be happy even when they're alone. They're very calculated, thoughtful with their actions and their speech. And he's this male isn't considered at the top of any social hierarchy because he just plain doesn't have interest in being. Sounds like this to me. I can I, I can relate to that a little yeah. bit. I can okay. see Malcolm on that one. That's Malcolm right there. Okay. Uh -huh. I got uh -huh. you, son. Uh -huh. That's mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> we gonna end the show early because I don't like what these motherfuckers. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> it's your game, bro. Remember how last uh, show went? Yeah, Every time you introduce some shit. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> reverse to you. <laughs> Skip reverse to you. Drop okay. <laughs> so this one, this one, uh, this type of male is an independent thinker and stays true to their self and they don't change for society. They know who they are on a deep level and consistent actions and internally driven mindset in all situations. They stay true to their self and not drawn to into movements or group think. So this is the lone wolf. <coughs> <All right. clears throat> Excuse me, I'm sorry. 
They are not distracted by opinions of others or trying to fit in. They are authentic because they see no need to pretend to be something they're not. All right, and then it just basically goes on more of that. <coughs> oh, he's still sick. I've been here like Don't blame on us now because we're not coughing. This, this month. I'm not coughing. You saw him last week, right? Yeah. No. <laughs> uh, nigga, you just want to blame somebody. You got a weak immune system. Let's say it. Like, this shit is not equipped. Only to, with kids, to man. handle life. Nah, Only with kids, germs. That's it. You don't take vitamins? At of all. course I do. No, I, yeah, I do. What kind? Can't. I take uh, the, the multivitamin, vitamin, like uh, Flintstone vitamin. No, like Centrum. Walmart version. Right. Nah, nah, no, nah, no, nah. No. I take Centrums. I take gummies. Omega threes. I take vitamin D. Cotton I take. Oil. Uh, fish oil. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what omega threes are. Um, Natural fish oil. What else? Um, and then I take some stuff to keep my blood thick. Um, other than that. So yeah, every day, aspen, you know, besides the, the CQ, huh? Just, I take the same shit, aspirin, low dose of aspirin. CQ, nah, this is called CQ, CQ uh, natto kinase. It's a Japanese Whoa. herb that actually uh, it keeps your blood flowing and thick. And um, the use is low. So for those who don't COVID, know, I, I had issues with blood clots and all that shit like that. That's nah, it's, nah, it's good. It allows stuff. it easier good for stuff. you to die quick. Nah, that's <laughs> easy. Help get the yang up. <laughs> uh, that's, that's what ginseng is. That's what ginseng is. That's what ginseng is. Get you some ginseng. Everything that comes out of Asia is for that, dude. Get you that special Whether honey. it's tiger nuts or <laughs> ginseng or eukinesia uh, or all that. That's all to keep the yang up. All right. Anyway, so we heard the, the Zeta male. Basically a lone wolf. You know, they don't care about rules and stuff like that. They want to do stuff their way and be left alone to be loners. All right. When are we gonna start using these things? Well, you gotta you gotta hear the the choices. We're not gonna remember all that shit. Yeah. No, no, no. It's it's not just for y'all. See, oh. this is for all the listeners. Okay. You know, because they can hit the pause button and think about it if they want, or they can keep <coughs> it moving. But this is just to get it out there, and then, you know, I'll give you the titles, and then we'll match the titles <coughs> and what we'll say, and see if it aligns with what you believed you were to be given. Okay. All right. Okay. So. We got that one, that one, that one. Uh, see, y'all sorry to interrupt me. Y'all threw me up. Okay. Uh, this type of male, adventurous and interested in personalities. They seek fulfillment in life and all other pursuits. Uh, they are men that love going on trips, traveling, uh, moving around a lot, uh, and trying different lifestyles. Honestly, that don't sound like none of us, so yeah. we <laughs> I don't think we gotta keep Not going you, on that you, one. You Mr. Orlando. Hey man, that's one spot. <laughs> I don't and I ain't changing. Yo, even you like to travel a little bit. You, you like I, travel. I, I don't travel. hate it. You're a passport, but that's I, I, not I my travel. thing. You're a passport brother now. That that's not my thing. Oh. <laughs> Getting about my passport bros. The passport bros, dog. God damn, man. Woo. Stay up on your current events. <laughs> YouTube is not yeah. current events. No, it's not more than Shit YouTube. It's, it's a lifestyle. But yeah, man. it's a lifestyle. It's niggas who go out of the country to go find they them a submissive woman because right. the ones in America suck dick. Literally. And figure it out. Oh, okay. Actually, lack of. Yeah. Because yeah, <laughs> exactly. the ones in other countries just is right. so it's it's a, part of their modus operandi. So Let's go. Sasua, dude. Sasua. I'm telling y'all, yeah. Sasua for ever in a day. So, okay. That's what passes. Okay. So, all right, we got two more. All right. All right, this one, uh, the biggest defining characteristic is confidence in itself and in their leadership of other people. Uh, they <laughs> they tend to be attractive to others, outgoing and charismatic. Uh, they like to be in charge of groups and rise naturally to positions of power. Uh, they tend to be in management positions, executives, high-ranking military careers, and become politicians. Okay. Uh, and that's basically it. Just some more filler about that one. All right. And then the final one is, all right. Uh, this one is self-assured and isn't even aware of popularity contest. Did I say that one? No. See how they all start to they meld together. Like... I mean, cause men ain't this complicated. Mm -hmm. We're just not. Uh, may will have few close friends, but his confidence and self-generated comes from within. Uh, tends to not have much social awareness, but great at self-care. 
Uh, they don't care about external feedback or being judged by others. Self-motivated and driven uh, from within to accomplish what they want in life. They have no need for external motivation. Uh, they tend to be highly intelligent and do things for their own intrinsic value and have no need for external approval or validation of others. Yeah. From others. I'm sorry, not of others, from others. Um, and like I said, more so, more so. Okay. They all sound like. Don't it? It's really hard to decipher. It sounds like a little bit of everything that anybody in here. Right. And that's why I think that this whole that's personality you, garbage was saying, made by women. Because, I mean, they're literally trying to take traits that all of us have mm-hmm. and trying to divide it up, but they're literally like... They're sprinkling a little bit getting, of it. One, 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 one is not, you know... Right, and uh, you just can't do that with men. You can't just say, okay, this type of man only does this, and this type of man only does this, Correct. and those two will never do that type of thing. That's just that's I don't not think how we're made. Yeah. So, I don't know. But it is a thing, and um, that's what, what the question is. All right. Okay, so again, the types, the, the titles of the types, alpha male, sigma, zeta, beta, gamma, Omega and Delta. And obviously that's not in order of the Greek alphabet. Mm-hmm. So um who wants to go first? Alright. Uh, CJ Charles, you go first. Damn, nigga, let's go say the, <laughs> the heavy duty QB. Over <laughs> okay. So even though a lot of them seem to have ran together, um, basically out of the types of men, you know, what do you think your strengths are and what type of man do you think you are? Because they all sound like. Um, well, what type of traits do you think you've got there? It was the one that was like. It was one of the loner ones. Like, I don't really care how shit is perceived that much to my own beat. Okay. I like to do what the fuck I want to do. I really don't care about social structure or rules I, I normally don't do what the fuck I want to do it gets me in trouble at work in other places so uh, my daughter's the same way so if everybody looks at Peyton and says first thing you say that's you so it's more of that um, okay I remember the rest of it I remember it was two that you said back to back was similar yeah they had the same similar thing so it was more of that yeah it's two different types um alright so out of those two types that you were talking about uh Let's see if if you would agree. All right. The first one that plays outside the system and uh, does what they want and that type of thing is a Sigma man. All right. That's the one that... That's uh, the lone wolf. I remember that one. That's the cunning and play outside the system to get what they want in life. Excellent with persuasion and thinking outside the box. That's one. The other one... <laughs> yeah, I like that one. Um, the... Other one is uh, Zeta males, which are independent thinkers and stay true to themselves and don't change for society. Yes, that's Zeta. Nah, it says Sigma. Oh. See what I'm saying? They're similar. That's what I'm saying. They, 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 similar, <laughs> I'm saying. they so similar. I was trying to. I was trying to separate the two. I was like, they had, they all just said correlated to it together. It was hard to decipher which. I just know he read them back to back. I was like, the last two you read back to back was I automatically say that. Actually, it was three of them. Which that is, you read back to back? No, no, it was three of them that had that same oh, type yeah, yeah. of. I just remember of thing. Said, when you said, I was like, oh, I'm. Because I literally tried to jump around right. and it ended up being the same one sounded like back to back anyway. So, um. <clears throat> all right. <coughs> so. So we got, uh, uh, blah, blah, blah. We got the Sigma and we got the Zeta. Um. Let me see. Yeah. Yeah, those are basically the the two that that would would pop off on that. All right, so as far as Cliff, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> that's that's why you get the moderate, dog. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Which one I think he's closest to based yeah. on the definition. Yeah. All right, read. Read them one more time for me. All right. I'm, uh, I'm just going to skim the yeah, yeah, yeah. first line or two. Yeah. All right. One is uh, is confident in their self and leadership. 
The next one is clever and cunning and plays outside the system to get that what one. they want in life. That one? That one. So the independent thinkers and stay true to themselves and don't change for society? Yeah. It's, it's the same thing to me. Okay. That one. Which one is that one? That's a Sigma. Whatever. They all sound like that. Whatever. Yeah. I think I could gr- agree with that. Um, once again, like we already <laughs> know, um, you know, they all sound like each other. I mean, it, it's really no, no difference. Uh, in the comments, ladies and gentlemen, like, and subscribe, like I said before, and comment if you think that uh, comedian CJ trials would be more of a sigma. But that's I think he's more of a sigma. That's so. this one, right? Huh? That's the. That's the. the yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, this one. Yeah, the sideways M. There you go, man. Congratulations, you get a sigma. All right. Cool. So, on to uh, the heavy duty cutie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so which type do you think you are? Um, um, there's one that you said that get along with everyone, easy to get along with, very social, uh, great management skills, something like that. <laughs> All right, it sounds like you're putting a couple of them together. Yeah, That's right. Sure. Um, yeah, I, what do I you remember, think? I remember that one, but the, the social thing, yeah, mm-hmm. whatever the one is with him being social. And all kind of shit like that. There's like two of them that said social. It's two of them for everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. So read both of them out. And then all right. Uh, let me see. Um, friendly and respect others. Have great shows. The great social skills. Okay. And people tend to like them for their laid back approach to life. Tend to be open and kind to others as they seek to be liked and appreciated. They have high social intelligence and interpersonal relationships. Yes. Okay. Yo, out of it. That sounds like <laughs> but, uh, everything else. <laughs> <laughs> What's the other one? <coughs> this dude about to start throwing shots. <laughs> What's the other one? Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, there's the going on trips and stuff like that. That was the social. One? Uh, uh where from? yeah. Really? Yeah. There was uh, the adventurous and interesting personalities seek fulfillment in life from other pursuits. Uh, there are men that love going on trips, traveling to exotic places. That's all under that one. I do love to travel, but I think I'm more the other. What's the other one? Yeah, the what's the other one? one? What's the first? That first one. Beta. B. Yep. All right. So we got you as a beta male. Congratulations. The <laughs> heavy duty cute is a beta. <sighs> Where's the one oh, for Eric? Okay, Eric okay, for okay, <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna wrap up the show this no, week. No, 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 let's get to you, nigga. <laughs> let's get to you. All right, um, hold on, let me, um, let me just go ahead and. Where's the duplicate? Don't leave no lines out either for your ass. Right. Man. Just read everything. He's going to say, <laughs> handsome and tall, right, right. tall, dark, and handsome. Right. Just in the Marines. Like, nigga, that shit was in there before. <laughs> <laughs> nah. I'm... This nigga freestyling. Uh, no, I'm real. No, see, I'm going to put it up so I know you probably can't oh, even see nigga, it. What the fuck is it a fine print? Hey, you be all right? So you know I ain't lying. Okay? All right. <laughs> so uh, the first one... Uh, let me see. I think. Damn, it's kind I'm of gonna go straight to Alpha because we're gonna say this ain't one that you think. No. Nah. See, that's the thing though, because I, I definitely have traits damn near all along, up and down the line. Um, but, and just by title, I always considered myself Alpha. But after reading a lot of these, and even listening to y'all, I, I kind of agree because the one that I read that says. Um, uh, you, males you, tend to be clever and cunning and play outside you. the system. When I said that, I was like, that's, that's what I'm saying. We don't play in the system. We don't give a fuck how right. people think. Mm-hmm. That's what made you, made us became cool, to be honest. Am I wrong? No, that, no, no. That, no, that no. was exactly what we was like. I was reading. That wasn't a part. Yeah, yeah. He was, <laughs> he was like, oh, okay, I was like, what? All right, we're going to do this. Like, we didn't give a fuck. Yeah. You know, that's how it is. I was like, well, like yeah, that's not cool. All the way up until Cliff was not allowed to listen to secular music no more. Then. When? <laughs> Come on, man. I don't want to put you on black. You just did it now. What the fuck? It's like a little music. What the fuck? 
You don't remember the first ex? Y'all that, went all religious. That was and, that culture. You know, me and you was riding. It was like, yo, I got to hide my, my hip-hop tapes that and stuff because I can't listen to them in the, that, in that the house. Was, that was that coach shit. And then <laughs> you did that on some bullshit. I was trying not to, though. Yeah, I was on some bullshit. Yeah, I was I was like that for a minute. Was this the same church with the girls with the big booties you guys went to? No, no. Nah, nah. Some other bullshit. That's what I said. This is early, on some early, shit. That's what I said. After oh. that, yeah, they got my mouth. They hurt my mouth. But they was always the, they was. Let me tell you, them type of niggas would go to her and say, "We're not gonna talk to him because he's he's intimidating or he makes us feel a certain way." And these niggas is mocking size going to her to talk to her through me because I they felt I was confrontational and me saying stuff made can cause an uproar i would bring up stuff in, in this in the church in the middle of the thing i'm like yo where's that in the bible yo where's that at exactly pointing out right. they're like brother trowels can we step outside for a minute you can't question the past like that why he the, he the man of god i'm trying to learn like right. i'm trying to figure out where do you, I don't just say it to point right. where exactly where it's at and when I, I say that type of stuff they would always kind of shush me to the side so when things went down it was like it was my fault and then when they said that I, I torched that motherfucker up. Like, <laughs> all right, so what we're going to do is start exposing shit. That was you, that was you, that was you, that was you, and then I, I got booted out. What kind of denomination was this? Non-denomination. Wow. The, the, the oh, quickest. something happened. Brother, we got your back. We got your back. And as soon as shit start happening, and I start speaking, no one had my back. Malcolm had to have my back. Yeah, that shit was crazy. So, yeah. I was like, bro, you, just, were, just were you knock the too? system. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> I was like, knock the system, dog. Fuck them. What's the one <laughs> At the end of the day, man. Mega churches or? It, was okay. it, was, it was too small for it for to be. But yeah. it was small enough for me to say what I just Say, yeah, to did. yell up to the back. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I, I was not welcome there. I, I and they still see me to this day. And they be like, car. fuck him. <laughs> so, yeah. this, so, it is what it is. So, yeah. So, for myself, I'm... I'm what are you saying? You're a stigma? I, I, it's, it's seeming more like that. You know, I have a, a lot of, of characteristics and traits from the alphas until <coughs> you get to the point of, um, you know, I, alphas seem to, to seek the approval of people as they're being an alpha type of thing. Like, hey, I am I doing thing. good? I'm like, you need, you need and I'm like, fuck it. I like being in charge, but not to the point where I'm concerned that other people don't see me in charge. I can't live. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So you can't sleep at night. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Alphas are that type. If they're not in a position of leadership, they they can't. They don't seem to be able to function. So they're saying the sigma is top sigma male tends to be rich entrepreneurs. Uh, yeah. At the very bottom. Let's let's do there this. There we go. That's easier on the eyes. Yeah, let me help y'all out a little bit. All right. So. Um, about, yeah, so I'm going to... What about gonna, what, What's the uh, trait? Uh, I am a Sigma, nigga. What are you talking about? You a Sigma? Yeah. On purpose? You know, on purpose. <laughs> you, put your, you put your vote down there, said, It said 10 to be rich. Nigga, I'm getting there. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Asshole. He sure taking the time, though, ain't <laughs> Whatever, nigga. You act like you're rich, nigga. You, you, That's because like, you don't watch his own shit. You're a <laughs> You a thousand in like I am. Fuck you. Go on, nigga. What beta said? Not, not like you. <laughs> I'm fucking with you, man. Um, yeah, so there's a beta right there, which is, uh, you know, great social skills. People tend to like them for their laid back approach in life. They make the best employees in great careers. So you have no entrepreneurs. I. <laughs> What he said? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I literally became weak right now. Like my head is weak. <laughs> I said you have no entrepreneurial spirit. <laughs> nah, I just fuck with you. <laughs> nah, I mean out of all of them, take scrapping out the titles. I I think that's you straight up, man. It, it just it it seems like you, especially that first paragraph. Um, Do you value people over money or power? That's me. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, I don't. I value yeah. power over people. No. Actually, money. I don't care about power that much. First come the power, then comes the, the money. Yeah, yeah but I want the money, spend. and if the power comes, so be it. Like, I, I could go without the, um, what do you call it? The, uh, what is it that everybody, uh, 
They went famous. famous. Yeah, yeah, I could yeah, go I without the fame. I don't care about that. Money shit. Yeah. Yeah. It gives you access. I used to. I prefer which, to be low key famous. <laughs> I don't say anymore, but I used to say that uh, I wanted to be like Will Smith. You know really? Before the slap. Before <laughs> pre slap and pre. <laughs> actually, pre Jada. Oh, yeah. Oh, like, whereas, you know what I'm saying? Shit. Ridiculously rich. You don't hear nothing about him. Mm-hmm. Everything's cool. You you don't hear no scandalous stuff. Nothing popping up. No eighteen baby mamas coming out the woodwork. Yo, he's just. Yeah, I'm like, you, that's what I'm talking about. You doing that movie Seven Degrees of Separation? I was about to say you uh-huh. forgot about that one. I don't think I watched that. Movie. Oh, you may want to watch it. it. Yeah. That's a homework. That's, All right, that's, Mr. Smith. I watched the Seven Pounds, but I didn't watch Seven. Uh, that that will is taking yeah. it. That's the one that he was. Yeah. Oh, I've heard yeah. about it. Yeah. I haven't watched it. It's a, like, I definitely the concept heard about of the movie like, oh shit, seven degrees. You can get to any powerful person. Yeah, it's true. But his, but his yeah, role, that's very true. You're all six people away from the person that needs to get in the position he needs to. So, but he, the way he went about it. Yeah. Yeah. He he touched his six degree, six person a little too much. <laughs> so he act like Cliff right now. No, fuck you. <laughs> no, no. no, I didn't even see the movie, man. No, no. Yeah, uh, I don't even know what it, I'm talking it's about. Broke right back now. mountain before broke back mountain. Word? Is Cliff is like one step closer. <laughs> <laughs> not at all. Not I just gotta lead. Oh man. man. All right, now the fun part. All right. We got two other fellas, real quick. Okay. Oh wait a minute, y'all didn't give me a letter yet. So. Yeah, you oh, fucking um, Sigma, nigga. Sig- you think Sigma? Yeah, yeah, you said you was Sigma. Yeah, Sigma. I don't want to say that, but. Sure. All right, yeah. No, no, that's the wrong one. Sorry. For real, Zeta? What the fuck? Sir. Hey, you trying to say I'm a... What is a Zeta anyway? Um, Actually, where was it? Oh, there it is. Independent thinkers that stay true to themselves and don't change with society. Like, that first sentence sounds right, but... I know who I am on a deep level. Conscious actions, a totally driven mindset, all situations. They stay true to themselves, not drawn into movements or group think. And that's the thing. I, I do enjoy group think. You know, I like I like socializing with the fellas. I like getting you guys input on stuff. And I like trying to build, like, team building. And Zetas ain't about that team building. Those are the lone wolves. So, mm-hmm. nah, I'm not that. By that one sentence, anyway. What's um, their top, top thing with? Men's rich. Yeah, tend to be rich traders. Damn, traders. Like stock traders, man. Traders. Okay, I'm thinking of them. <laughs> Who were you thinking? Bank? Espionage? Who right. in the bank? <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <He's> so stupid. <laughs> Jesus. You guys. You did, up. nigga. <laughs> exactly. I knew what the hell that meant. <laughs> I didn't. I wasn't. I've been out for three years. Um, I said twenty years. I felt like I was locked up. All right, so we got each other in the room. Jesus Christ. All right, so what about uh, Chef Kenny? Let's we'll start with you, Cliff. Since actually, no, we'll do you last because you know him the best. Right. Yeah. So, um, whichever says lesbian. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna rip black your ass up. Yo, he burned me. <laughs> he burned me last time. Go light your ass up in the cup. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. No, no. I ain't gonna lie to over us. <laughs> yeah. With the hair and all that oh coming down. Gosh. Why'd you say that shit when a nigga was like your ass up to the- <laughs> <laughs> He got me last time. He got me. I, I give I give him props. Oh, man. Yeah, man, it, it's, it's, he was sitting there looking a little butch like he taped stuff down. You know what I mean? Like he was taping his titties down and shit so they don't jiggle. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. All right, Chef Kenny, you see me missing you. Cliff, Cliff wants to laugh. Right. He's like, that's my boy. Yeah, that's my boy. I can't. Cliff's dead. I ain't scared. <laughs> me, me and Kenny go at the more than anybody. If I you see our text messages, we go hard at each other. So pause. But. Yeah, but Cliff, 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 Sorry, you said it right, nigga. No, no. Yeah. We fucking go at Play, each other. No so. pause. But at least Cliff is funny. Uh, <laughs> damn. He's going to uh, slam uh, boy. <laughs> slam <laughs> bay, dog. Fuck the fucking Hawaiian roll. <laughs> I miss him, man. I miss, I miss him. Just, <laughs> you get this nigga a whole week to soak for this shit? <laughs> He's gonna write shit down. There's gonna be heavy while he's cutie cooking. chunks all over the table, boy. <laughs> Chop the sesame oil and everything. <laughs> 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 Shout out to Chef Teddy in the building. Not in the building, so. 
Yeah, <laughs> that's the only reason. That's why you get right. it, dog. Keep if it you went here. <coughs> that's my dude. All right. You know I mean? So, um, what I know of, of uh, Chef Kenny, um, he's a hard He's worker. definitely yeah. Yeah, hard worker. That he's, was one of he, them. he's social. He's very social. Yeah, he's social. Yeah, I can see that. Um, uh, what, the De- what the Delta one say? Is that part of the hardworking thing? Quiet and self-reflective. Nah, he's definitely. Nah. <laughs> I think that was what I said. That ain't nobody. That ain't a- Even when he laughs, it's loud. Man, yeah, he's definitely. Yeah, he's not. He's not the Delta. He's probably Omega. Um, say the few close Omega. friends, but confidence is self-generated and comes no. from within. No, that's not. Him. No. Okay. Uh, yeah. Seeks fulfillment in life with all other pursuits. There are men that love going on trips, traveling exotic places. Uh, I don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't know that ain't, that. that ain't him. Okay. He's not a traveler? He doesn't travel once? Not like that. Not in exotic places. Great social skills. People tend to like him for his laid back approach to life. Uh, basically, Tony. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. Mm-hmm. Can we just read the other one? Wait, beta bells are reserved and some can be shy. And, which, shy. that's a scratch for both of y'all. Like, I don't even know why they put that under that one. It really doesn't make sense. They're going to be social, and basically a social butterfly and then shy. I don't get that. So you think basically ambivert, and that's the case. You can, you can go between introvert and, and extrovert at the same time. But that was that's funny because there's times like now I enjoy spending time with you guys. When I'm home sometimes, I just want to be with myself. I don't want no kids, nobody bugging me, that's no one coming over. I just want to be in the living room by myself that's watching because TV. You got somebody else in the crib. We know what you do. <laughs> All men like that. Once you go, once you go home alone. We all become right. introverts. <laughs> Leave me the fuck alone. Is this a corner that's reserved just for me? Let me get over there. Let me get, yeah, we all know. No, no, it's just, it's just me, man. It's just, I don't know. Maybe I'm getting older. I just want to be left alone. You know what I mean? Yeah, I definitely feel that a lot, man. I mean, as you get older, you do you do enjoy your introspective thoughts, and you, you're okay with being by yourself. And you you say you, so you can compartmentalize better. Let me say that so you can decompress. Right, you can hang with your fellas. Yeah. You do you do your work thing. You do your own personal thing, and you can decompress, like you said, and put everything in its own bucket and be cool with it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying you ain't worried about oh, let me get out here and be in the streets and do this. You okay with like, nah, it ain't for me. Mm-hmm. Because I I'll be like in the heart, be like, it ain't my thing. Today. Yeah. I ain't got no problem. Like, oh, you fucking blah, 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 you doing it? I'm good. Nigga, I can't be peer pressured. I don't want to do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it I'm is not, what it is. I'm like that now. I'm like, nah, like I just it. don't want to go. I don't want to do you it. You know what I mean? Come over. Nah, man. I'm not driving an hour just to go see pay per view. I can do right. it from my house. You know, no, that's like, right. You don't got to like, feel like you got to explain yourself. You're like, oh, that's not my thing. I don't want to do it. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. I'll go further than me. I just be like, nah. Malcolm <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah. moved to like the other side of the world. That's why. Yeah. I'm good. What are you talking about, man? For I, out of all of us, I'm the closest to that lived to the place where to we Alabama. both met, where all of us met. I'm closest to living in that same area. Neither one of y'all. Are you <laughs> proud of that, man? Are you proud of that? What I'm saying is that I'm not the one problem? that moved far away. <laughs> we moved to safe I am literally, what, peaceful, quiet. nine miles away from pretty much where we all met? Man, what was a great memory? The hood. Was there, I'm huh? It was like it was great memories. Right. It was right. awesome memories, right. man. Mm-hmm. Being out there with the kids and wilding with the out. Kids, but the other yeah. shit outside the field. Hey, we ain't talking about outside. <laughs> the field. Outside the field, like ah. Yeah. We ain't go back home and be like, leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> <laughs> we, we ain't talking about outside. Yeah. The field. That shit was one hour a day. You look forward to, and they be like, ah, oh, fuck. Yeah. yeah. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> you ain't lying, dog, because yeah, I really true. did look forward to I look forward to that <laughs> shit. I was out there with my daughter in the stroller, nigga. You knew I looked forward yeah. to it. Yeah. My son in the from, stroller. Nothing yeah. will keep me from doing that shit. Yeah. So. Yeah, I didn't even have a kid on the team, dog. I was just like, yo, it's good to be here. Yeah, right. That's when we were coaches. Huh? That's when we were coaches. That's what I'm saying. He's all coach. Yeah. 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 I had no kids. Yeah. Just <laughs> happy to be here. In fact, I used to, like, leave my kid... My kid messed around and, and got on a, a little league football team without me signing him up. Oh, damn. Yeah. Shout out to my boy Dwight. <laughs> my boy Dwight, he used to, uh, he was a coach mm-hmm. uh, when we were coaching eight year olds mm-hmm. that first year. Dwight was coaching the five year old team. <clears throat> oh, so, so. When it was football. Okay. And 
what happened was, you know, all those days that I would bring two up there, mm -hmm. two would come up to me while I'm supposed to be coaching the eight-year-olds and be like, Daddy, can I go play up on the other field? And I'd be like, yeah, go ahead. Don't go with nobody. If anybody tries to snatch you, you scream and run like hell, come back. I think I remember. You asking for a five-year-old. No. He was three turning four. Three, bro. You he was turning that. four. Yeah, that was extra bold. Yeah, because yeah, remember, that was that season, like August, September, that yeah. we were coaching. He turned four in November. And uh, he went up on the field one day. He had been going all the way to the top field where we coached the Little League yeah, baseball. The baseball part. And we we coached all the way down we on the by. third we field. Had, yeah, we had the ghetto one, bro. Right. The ghetto field. All the way right. down. All yeah. the way it down. Was just, it was right. just dirt. No no grass. Right. Facts. I but like so he would go all the way up there by himself. And I'm like, I got to pay attention to these eight-year-olds. So. So I let him. No, I let him brave, be. Son. I so I know. That, yeah, that's I that's 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 it was crazy, that's right? That's it was crazy. But yeah. I mean, that boy, he been here before. Like he got that type of soul and spirit. He been here before. Right. And um, so uh, one day after our practice is over, I uh, I went up to the field to go get him because I knew where he'd be at. And he came off the field, and this little nigga had full equipment. And I was like, whose equipment you got? And he was like, mine. I'm like, who gave you equipment? Coach Dwight. Coach Dwight, what? I go up on the field, and I'm like, hey, Coach, let me holler at you. He's like, yeah, man. Um, I, I I went ahead and gave you certain equipment and stuff. Uh, they couldn't find his paperwork, but, you know, he's up here hitting. I was like, he's three. He said, for real? <laughs> I was like, yeah. How did y'all get this boy equipment? Wow. He said he said that his dad said he could play. And we all know you, so he like, yeah, okay. Yo, they donned the helmet and everything. This boy came off the field like he'd been practicing all day, but it worked. He was pushing his bottle, man. <laughs> so, he, he was yeah. Like, I remember these niggas. I said, what's he doing? <laughs> creatine. Nigga, really? Yeah. yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Giving him creatine and milk. Yeah. Shout out to the supplements. And I don't care because he's grown now. <laughs> But yeah, I, I was that dad that was mm -hmm. that was uh, taking supplements and then putting a little of that powder in his in his bottle with him. So he was getting creatine. How much know. were you putting? Like an ounce, two ounces? Uh, I wasn't even counting ounces. It was you know they have the scoops that come in the <coughs> powder. Yeah. So for me, I would take three scoops. So I give him half of of a scoop. Half of half of one in each bottle. Mm -hmm. This boy used to blow the nipple out of the goddamn bottom. Though he was like it, and it would like open up like the like a four speed, and he basically like drink it because it wasn't any. Uh, I can imagine resistance. his diaper with the cream. Yo, yo, yeah. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. He he was like mm -mm. little Niners from three hundred. Like, yeah, right. Yeah, I mean, it, and it wasn't just that, you know, because you know the the cereal like the oatmeal and stuff. Yeah, yeah. you're only supposed to you were really ain't supposed to with none of it in there. But I was literally putting three quarters of the bottle of the oatmeal and then the half a scoop of creatine and then put in the, the liquid milk formula in that last little bit. Then shaking the, So he was literally like drinking smoothies. And the boy blew the nipple off the bottom trying to get it out of there. You're lucky he's not over 18 now. So. I was telling people. I mean, y'all knew because yeah, I was telling know. people. I watched it. Right? I, <laughs> I was making shit for jazz. No. And I was like, "What the fuck are you putting this?" Shit? This shit's being recorded. I never knew. <laughs> this is my first time. I was Dang. not aware. I don't care. I mean, I was like, "Yo, I, psh, I'm trying to raise my 401k, though. <laughs> this is my retirement plan." Good luck with that. <laughs> that that was the thought way back then. Yeah, before and, the um, internet. <laughs> before yeah, research. So, but I mean, you know, he was already a big kid. I mean, he was, big bonus. He was uh, nine pounds, eight ounces at birth mm -hmm. and 20, uh, 23, 22 and a half, 23 inches long. And his mother was 5'1". So he was damn near a third her height yeah. at birth. So I was like, yo, this formula shit ain't gonna work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this boy went food, man. When did you stop hearing creepy? Eight, mm, three, six, seven. Damn. As long as I was taking it. Six, six, six or seven. Yeah, man. <laughs> 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 I 
nigga, why he got a helmet? That's why he was banging with bigger kids, man. He just incriminated himself. I don't care. What they gonna do? No, child support already ended. I paid my last check. You know what I'm saying? What you gonna do at this point? He's not sick. DNA in fact, structure. you know what I'm saying? Phosphagen and them, they should be calling me for endorsements yeah, right now. I'm like, yo, four, four, it's babies. safe for babies. Like, yeah. I can endorse that right now. He didn't grow a third <laughs> nipple or anything. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, it still didn't help him much. He's still a little on the short side. But, I mean, his mom's whole family is what mad is like short. Five, six, five, nah, nah. He's like 5'10", 5'9", 5'10". Which is... Underwhelming for our family, so. Average, though. Yeah, I but average. you know the creatine wasn't going in the bottle to be above average. I mean, <laughs> think about it like this: if he, if, he, if he didn't have it, he would have probably been like five one. Oh five my two. god! So it helped. I would have had the three hundred though. I had to throw him off the cliff. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> god He's damn. too small. <laughs> if he be born small or puny, he shall be discarded. So thinking this cliff wasn't your baby. Shoot. <laughs> what if you was his baby, nigga? Kirby looking motherfucker. You know what? Y'all need to boast. Guess what? Ain't gonna help fucking shape the size of the bowling ball. Talk shit to me. <laughs> Fuck you, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what's oh, the what's, what's the right, yeah, Kenny? Uh, what do we think is uh? Kenny. Yeah. Kenny. Kenny? Um, I don't know. I'm having a hard time. What you got? What you thinking, Tom? Maybe we should just. Uh, just go ahead and give the uh, the answer to to Cliff because he. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, what are you thinking? Yeah, because I don't know my six. Well, go go back up to to the what is it? Nah, not Alpha. Alpha. Nah, he's no CEO. All right, uh, Zetas. What's the Zeta again? Uh, independent thinkers that stay true to themselves and don't change for society. No. Nope. Mm-hmm. They know who they are on a deep level and consistent actions and internally driven in the midst of all situations. Uh, they're not drawn into movements or group think. I can see that. Yeah? I can see that. Yeah. Don't ask people, don't, they don't ask people to change for them and they want to change for them. I can see that. Yeah. I can see that. Yeah. No you one, see more of that? No one knowing him yet. I can see that. I, see that. I guess so. Okay. All right, so we'll throw a Zeta over there. Chef Kenny get a, get a Zeta. We'll throw it to his side of the table. That's he get that oh, Z. Okay, okay. Yeah, he got the right one this time. He's giving out the wrong letters and whatnot. All right. I ain't Greek, bro. All right, so the being that y'all just uh, <laughs> met Zeta. Huh? That's the Euro in your stomach. He said I ain't Greek, but that's the Euro in your stomach. <laughs> there you go, man. Damn, yeah. everybody calling me right now. What he the fuck? A, huh? Everybody fucking calling me. I ain't calling all day. Okay. I don't get offended. You know what I mean? I can't get offended by the See how potato. he detaches from what we do. I'm, I'm just saying. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, Follow the rules, man. All right. Let's go. <laughs> See, I don't know your brother, so I, won't, I yeah. definitely won't get this yeah. shit right. That one's a tough. That one's a tough for uh, you guys. So, yeah. um, I only you know, know him for like three weeks. <laughs> just one day a week. Honestly, um, I think Mel's more of a... Uh, he's closer between a Delta and an Omega, uh, which the Omega is self-assured and isn't even aware of popularity contests. Yeah. Um, he has few close friends, but his confidence is self-generated, comes from within. That's absolutely I can him. feel that on him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He, um, yeah, he, he <laughs> marches to his own drum kind of thing. Um, that. so. Based on uh, how he, how he speaks, I can see yeah. No makers. I give him no makers. Yeah. Outstanding. So we'll come back later in another show and we'll confirm with the guys who weren't here and, and we'll get their opinions. So <coughs> you write it down, you keep it school. Huh? You keep it school. That's what down. the paper's for. <laughs> we gonna gather up the papers and we gonna leave them in the spot. We just gonna watch we, we just gonna watch the show again. Like on YouTube. Or well, at least uh two of us will two out of three. Yeah. Go we got Mr. Allen Iverson, a fucking podcast over here. <laughs> Don't believe in practice or no shit. <laughs> what you know, baby. Yeah. All right, go ahead. What's the, what else we got? All right, oh, so goodness. what else we got? 
man. Dude, that was coming. That's like, this shit was long, man. That shit was like six hours. Bro. That was not those six hours. The preparation was. Yeah. <laughs> That's because you niggas ain't used to homework. Anyway. You got damn right. I saw enough school. <laughs> Once I got the diploma, I said, fuck this shit. Ladies and gentlemen, it's that time again for the Would You Rather segment of the show. Whereas, I'm going to give the fellas a scenario. And they got to pick which one that they would rather do. They can't say they can't do it. They can't say they just would rather die. They have to pick one, and then they have to explain why they're picking that one. Don't forget to leave comments and like and subscribe for the video. And uh, put what you would do in the uh, Would You Rathers. And, of course, in the spirit of March Madness, we're into our second round of the Would You Rathers. So, basically, the winners of the first round go against the other winners of the first round and we're working down to see what is the final would you rather okay and then we'll start the whole thing up with a whole bunch of brand new ones so that's how we'll work okay so comedian cj trowers big tone the heavy duty cutie would you rather get live streamed while you have romantic sex with a mangy chicken with chicken pox, by candlelight. By what? By candlelight. I don't remember that part. That's yeah. right. <laughs> it ain't gonna be the exact same. Jesus. All the stuff that I messed up, I'll rework out. So again, would you rather get live streamed while you have romantic sex with a mangy chicken with chicken pox by candlelight, or be cut a thousand times all over your body with razor sharp box cutter? And bathed in hot, salty lemon juice. Is that the same one? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Why don't it make sense? Of course it does. So would you rather? What's the sense you try to make? Chicken, you either do this like, or you do that. Like the chicken having these. chicken pop, right? And she's mangy. <laughs> and it's mangy. Can, but but that's, like, that's like the chicken version of HIV. <laughs> it's chicken and chicken. <laughs> 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 yeah, you know. Yeah, okay. No, that's like the chicken with shingles, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, at our age, yeah, shingles is around the corner. Yeah, a, ch- a mangy chicken with shingles. <laughs> wow. Chicken has chicken herpes. <laughs> it's chicken that bites back, boy. Chicken bites. <laughs> All right. What was the second part? I mean, the second question. Or be cut a thousand times all over your body with razor sharp box cutter. Every part of your body. Every part. A thousand little cuts with a box cutter. Razor sharp box cutter. And lemon juice. And you have to bathe in hot, salty lemon juice. Now you're getting in the tub. Hot, salty lemon juice after you've been cut everywhere a thousand times. Give me the chicken. Or you fuck a mangy chicken with chicken pox. Give me the chicken. On your live stream. So everybody watch. And hold on. It's romantic by candlelight. So So you're not just fucking the chicken. You're making love to the chicken. You got to give compliments. It's by candlelight. (laughs) Motherfuckers can't see me. All the lights gonna be on the chicken. Is it live? I'm gonna have a live. It's live. I'm gonna have a fucking mask on. (laughs) It's like motherfuckers doing porn. And since, and since, and since, and since Malcolm didn't say it yet, I'm wearing a condom. Right, I'm wearing a condom too. I was just gonna say that wearing a condom. Before the, he adds, the right, record. all the candlelight's gonna be on the chicken. He's gonna see the chicken in the spotlight, and me with a mask on, robbing of his virginity. I'm gonna have a T-shirt say KFC. Hey, hey it's romantic. <laughs> it so you have to talk Ooh. to. All you right. have to have music playing, right. That's and fine. you gotta be like, I yeah, gotta be in the camera. Yeah, 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 chicken. Like, oh, that, you gotta be like, is that good, chicken? <laughs> That's right. I still have a mask on. I'm still gonna have a condom on. Uh, wait till they get to you, the nope. Popeyes. No bitch. disguises. Wait till they get. Wait till KFC gets you on your menu, bitch. You're gonna be the. <laughs> The best filled bitch on me. Bye, give me that secret ingredient secret right now. Seasoning cream pie chicken <laughs> you ever had. This is what you call compound chicken right here. <laughs> right. Compound chicken. Right here. Right, take that, take that. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. You'll get the special marinated sauce. Oh. Mask or not. Remember, this is on your live stream. So when you log on, it's going to be I've been hacked. Yeah. <laughs> well, Hold well. on. No, you and, didn't say that no, shit. No, 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 no. I did say this, though. And you have to talk to it. 
I did say that. So your voice, and you can't, you can't disguise your voice. No, you can't. You can't disguise your voice. You see how you can't disguise your voice. No, no, no. I said that. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> once you watch the video, rewind to what I first said. I, I literally say, say you have right. to talk to it. You know what? No, no. You I said talk to it. No, you I said you have to talk to it and you can't disguise your voice. Now, as far you as the mask. About condom and mask. No, no, right. Exactly. I, I didn't say nothing about a condom, and mask, condom and mask. But you got to be up on there like, yeah, what's up, chicken? Ooh, chicken. <laughs> I got to rub it down. I got to rub it down with salt, pepper. I can do it in my residue with, powder. with an accent. <laughs> See? There's an accent. Hello, my friend. Hey, Mark. Let me, let's hear your accent. accent. Let's hear, let's hear your accent. How you would do it, dog? <laughs> oh, chicken! I love you. <laughs> I love you. Long time. I love you, long time, chicken. Hey, mira. <laughs> now the Spanish comes out. Right. Right. Like the first, <laughs> the first Spanish word I heard. I know you like twelve years. <laughs> Holy shit! Welcome to the community. <laughs> Whatever Jesus. keep my keep me off the radar, goddamn for a chicken molestation. They gotta want to be a, a sexual chicken offender. <laughs> Niggas keep me from from, from fucking slaughterhouses and shit like that. You can't Nigga, go to the chicken aisle. Nigga, you can't go to barbecues no more. <laughs> Niggas be like, nah, man. Nah, go That's get the ribs. From the barbecue. Go get the ribs. All KFC got me on their fucking wall right next to their fucking. <laughs> so they say food great. You can't even get Uber Eats. No right. Popeyes. Like, <laughs> no Chick Fil A. Boy, yeah. you can't even say the word chicken without people cutting their eye at you. Right. That's where you go. Boyo. What? what? Boyo. I can't what say about that chicken before nigga? niggas looking crazy. <laughs> you can't get no lemon pepper, nigga. <laughs> Not no. the lemon pepper. You can't bro. even right. mention anybody oh, scared. Even like that. That nigga is a chick. They be like, say, it. It. say it. <laughs> say it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. So, yeah. He can't even go to American Deli, you know, <laughs> wigs ran by Koreans like, no chicken for you. No chicken for you. They're all, they're all Koreans being on Susie Susie step into the the to the uh the chicken spots boy, they be like, oh shit, they be taking down all the sides. Yeah. <laughs> Twenty chicken wings for ten dollars. They be like, nope. <laughs> Charge this nigga seven thousand dollars. He can't have our chicken. Can't yep. go to Burger King, oh. get the chicken fries. Like, no, just fries. Oh. That's all you get. So you picking the chicken too? Yep. No How are you clouding them? You be in the same boat. Because it's hilarious, guys. <laughs> it's the same boat. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm not That's gonna it. get cut like that, bro. You're gonna bleed it that hell yeah. <sighs> No, you won't. The the salt and the lemon juice are mm, nah, no, yeah. I'm thinking about my penis. And it's hot. And That's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's the hot yeah. part. Yeah. Ball That's why I said every part of it. I live. You still got a lit. Yeah. yeah. That's why I said every heal. part of it. You still got to heal. Yeah. It's gonna hurt. Yeah. yeah. I'm all right. But after the the salt and the lemon yeah. juice makes you nah. know numbs all your nerves, you it's be okay. you nah. be the man of steel. Yeah. Nothing yeah. to hurt you. Nah. Nah. You be twitching, nah. nigga. You <laughs> nerve energy. I stuff my chicken. Nerve energy. Nerve energy fucked up. I'm like get the adobo, the sazon. Cilantro. Oh, so you're going to go to the chicken dry. You're going to dry rub the chicken. Okay. <laughs> I got to rob it first. <laughs> Bro, you need marinade. You don't need no adobo. This is going to be like freaking salt on yeah. you. Yeah, let me get that sour <laughs> chicken. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, my God. What you about go. you? What you picking? I ain't picking nothing. I See how you always do? <laughs> I ain't playing the game now. <laughs> All right. Yeah, well, so that one won, <gasps> I guess. Oh, chicken my chicken. God. Yeah. Chicken won again. That's yeah. it. Yo, chicken can't go is wrong. like can't go wrong slaughtering chicken. motherfuckers right now. Hey, can't go he's still busting nuts. So, yeah. That's it. <laughs> okay. That's oh, it. my God. Okay. So, would you rather number two? Okay. Fellas, would you rather... Mm-hmm. I already know where you're going to go, I think. Right. <coughs> we'll see. We'll see. And listen, because there's more adjectives. Yeah, of course, it always yeah. Exactly. But don't add extras when we're ready. Oh, to yeah, yeah, don't, yeah. He's like, oh, no, get, no. Get it all out of the system hey, now. Hey, yeah. hey. Get this it out of the system now. my game. Mm, yeah, no. Nah. Okay. Because all we do is look for loopholes. Yeah. Get it out of the system now. Yeah. So if we really want to play that game, I'll literally read and then I'll freestyle and no, add no, 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 more no, no, difficulty no, 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 no. to try to, to no, cut y'all lie. off. No, don't do that. But this y'all thing. just, y'all don't want to answer. You're like, okay, let me find a loophole. Well, then now I got to start sealing up the loopholes. I'm trying to keep it right. fun. Keep it fun, then. <laughs> nigga, don't try to keep my cousin back. No, you y'all looking for outs. outs. You got to keep it fun. We're not looking for outs. We're looking you for are. ways to fucking do this shit and not be crazy about doing it. To live with ourselves after. You Fuck know, that. Yes, I don't want this. you to live with now, yourself That's the problem. After. And you ain't never going to answer. We got to live with this shit. Right. <laughs> what the 
talking about fuck that. You know people we got to live. Wait, nigga, we got to live with this shit. I'm going to nigga pointing me out in the fucking mall like, here go the chicken fucker. <laughs> <laughs> He's a motherfucker. No, he's a chicken fucker. I dare you go to KFC tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see a resource. Right. <laughs> Subscribe and comment. <laughs> Ring the bell. Okay. I actually want chicken after this. I might have to reconsider this shit. Nah. <laughs> you go, ooh. Hey, say, say how you said it last week. He's like, give me that chicken guy. <laughs> <laughs> ooh, when you said that last week, I almost died. I swear I almost died. <laughs> <laughs> He was like, give me that chick. <laughs> <laughs> With deep voice on it. All right. Let's go to uh, number two. All right. Would you rather trip and fall face first into porcupine quills covered in army ants and honeybees or sit and watch your firstborn have angry butt sex with your worst enemy against their will? Nigga, the quills. Not my firstborn. Firstborn. I got a daughter. Hell. Look, look, look at the paws of the face. Ain't no point. Look at the paws of the face. He's about to blow the world up. Here we go. Come on, hit him. Same answer. What? My yeah. fucking daughter. No more money maker? If it's my daughter or my money maker, yeah, I take. I take. It's my daughter. Okay. My daughter first. Shout out, outstanding. Yeah, I can't be selfish. Yeah, I'm not fucking dog. No, that's never. Yeah. My so worst yeah. enemy? But, hell, but, I don't know. My and being on. forced. It's not and like. Being forced, because like, right. when you asked that question last time, exactly. it was forced. Exactly. Exactly. So now it's a whole different mindset. Yeah. yeah. Even yeah. if it was against their will. You know what's happening. So y'all would fall face first yep. into a porcupine quills yep. covered in army ants yep. and bees. Yep. And Sting and bites on top jump of right the, the stack. Get that, grab this shit off real quick. Bro, you know, come on, you watch Nate. You know how por porcupine quills work. I know, but. They're hollow and they break. So once it gets in you and they're barbed, mm -hmm. it's going to snap off yeah. and oh. it's hollow. You ain't going to be able to pull it out. I said as much as I can, but better, better than my daughter. You're going to be walking around here looking like a pin face. Oh, no, pinhead, pinhead. What's <laughs> that? Hellraiser. I said face to me. Hellraiser. 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 You can be walking just around looking like that. I got a new one, too. I just watched it. They do? Yeah. It came oh, out like man. two months ago. I, yeah. I I'm it, so it, behind it, on my slash of flicks, The new man. concept is garbage. Don't waste really? it. Really? Sure it is. It's trash. Sure it is. I think is. the first three ones was the Yeah, best. they put a spin mm -hmm. on it because it's millennials. So oh, add, yeah. think of a millennial fucking yeah, twist to it. Yeah, they did that shit with Jason a couple years yeah, ago, and I was like, trash. Oh, remember Jason went to space or some yeah. stupid shit that was like that? Jason 10 or Jason X. Yeah. yeah, that was the worst one. That, Jason yeah. go to Manhattan is by far with my Oh, that, Jason takes Manhattan? The one, one of my, my favorites. The one that I was We pushed the black dude's head off the fucking thing. The one I was most disappointed, and I was waiting for years to be made. Freddy versus Jason. That I was, was like, that was really? It was, it was comical. It was, it was comical, comical, but that's what Freddy is. Um, Freddy's comical, but Freddy's it just, comical. Yeah, but it was. And Jason doesn't score, say anything, like, so you like, know who's gonna dominate the script. Yeah. So I mean, that's, that's why I became no a, a bigger Michael Myers fan ever. Yeah. Michael Myers. That's became, who it should have been. That's Michael Myers. Freddy he versus came Michael. At, he, he should have came like at the end and then been part two. If Freddy, Jason yeah. versus Michael would be incredible. Like I love the way Michael Michael's fucking like he takes the killing now to. The level, like the last couple, he's like, this nigga really? Did you see the last? The last Halloween? one, the last Halloween, when the, the crowd tried to jump him and he fucked all their ass up was bullshit. Yeah, that was the biggest <laughs> bullshit. You have twenty niggas and they all beating you with bats and shit, and all of a sudden you just come out and just start slicing motherfuckers like roast right. beef. No, only Jason could do that. Though? Only yeah, Jason could do that. Though. One. He died. Yeah, I watch every single one. That was one. dope. I like how I like he died. I'm like finally. Yeah. I haven't watched it since Halloween H two O. I've never missed. I think that was the last one oh, I watched, right. and I think that was like two, two ago. Yeah, yeah, it was two thousand, so two yeah. or three ago, yeah. I think. That was, that was why. I was like, yeah. But I'm not a big Mike fan. Oh, I'm a Jason nut, though. I love Jason. Jason, Jason is good. Jason, Jason is my guy, boy. I used to love Freddy. Who else Freddy? walks around with a ski mask and a machete? Like what? The last <laughs> Freddy Krueger movie I, I really enjoyed was after they had like those kids with the superpowers and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I was like, okay, yeah. that makes sense in a way, you know, like imaginational. Yeah, especially your focus. imagination. <laughs> the, the scariest <laughs> thing about right. The scariest thing about Freddy is you can't fall asleep, and that's right. what makes his shit. Right, so, because you bed, gotta sleep. You gotta yeah. fucking fall asleep, even if you try. 
You're gonna be delirious. You're gonna be exhausted. Yeah. You're gonna you gotta fucking fall asleep. So that's what made him so dope. But then you know they do the Freddy vs Jason. Now his series is done. So um, Freddy was originally my first favorite one. But then you know Michael Myers just seemed to get better and better. And Jason, mm -hmm. Jason was cool. The one I just think has always been stupid to me, and I can't believe they keep just fucking keep doing it over Leprechaun. and over. Again. Leprechaun. That was I, dumb. That's, that's honorable mention. I didn't yeah. was thinking about that. <laughs> that little dude was scary as fuck. Child's play. Yeah, it got yeah. stupid. Chucky. It got stupid. You got this yeah. little motherfucker to kick this yeah. nigga across the room. I thought it was dumb from the first yeah. one. It's always been the dumbest concept I thought ever. So too. Yeah. He I thought voodoo so too. into a doll. The motherfucker got to keep finding the body of a little. Yeah. It was just old. Then you get a bride. Then you get a bride and have old. kids. It was yeah. just like what? always. I, where did the plumbing the come from? The corniest concept ever. Yeah. 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 Like, y'all just can't kick this little motherfucker across this thing. Like, he jump, you allow this nigga to jump on you from fucking across the room. Like, with a knife. Right. Yeah. It just never made sense to me. Every time I watch it, I was like, this is the dumbest. Who thought this shit was going to be brilliant? White folks. They, they watched it. Oh, this is going to be brilliant. It's going to kill a dog. It's going to be with voodoo. With a knife. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. It's brilliant. I, I only enjoyed the first. He walking around with a fucking. I was like, the, okay. The little boy with different. the dog yeah, with the knife. New. It yeah. was different. And he had that, because, and that's the same time when my buddy came out. I yeah, it was real close. So I was like, oh, my brother man. had my buddy. Yeah. I threw that motherfucker off the balcony. He had a white dog? <laughs> he had the, my buddy dog. He had a white, my... Yeah, a white, he, big ass dog. Yeah, my buddy was, was no, big, was tall. In the Bronx. Was yes. Big. In the Bronx. He didn't get beat up? No, he didn't take it outside. Uh, <laughs> shout out to the Bronx. Uh-huh. You see how y'all do on your no, side? No, my side. Hold no, no, on. He asked for it. He was fucking five, six to four or five when he came out. He was big on Barney, all that shit. But he had that shit in the corner. And I remember the, the fucking that moon, the at you. moon coming through his fucking screen. That shit's just and it's, staring at you. And that shit's about to book. Do you want to be my friend to the end? I said, oh, fuck that. <laughs> I'm 15. I'm 10 years older now. I threw that motherfucker off the balcony, nigga. Fuck that. He said, what happened to my dog? What was y'all on? I was in the seventh. We lived on the seventh floor. That's a balcony, okay. son. That's a fire. Terrace. <laughs> no, we had a terrace. Where were you living? Conquest Village. Across from Yankee off Stadium. Of Mo right off of, on Morris Avenue. I know that. I'm just Conquest Village behind the mall, the Conquest Plaza Mall. Okay. That right there, across from the, the cool house. We lived in those white buildings, those six white buildings yes. at 24 floors. Yeah. We lived in that. You were shit. facing Grand Conquest? Uh, we was facing Morris Avenue, and Grand Conquest was on the left. Okay. I'm trying to remember. Yeah, so the mall's right here, right underneath us. We are facing Morris Avenue in the courthouse, and the Yankee Stadium and everything's to the left of us. Gotcha. So yeah, I threw that motherfucker off the goddamn balcony. He was like, what happened to I threw his ba Barney shit off the balcony. I, I admitted to that shit like 10 years ago. I was like, yeah, man, I threw your Barney shit off the fucking thing. Man, I threw your Chucky shit Who off the balcony. Jealous? Yeah, no. Was. Barney he was, was jealous of him. He was no. jealous of him. Well, no, Barney, I love you. Typical firstborn. You me. Yeah. Firstborn syndrome. So it's all about me. He didn't get me. the shit. The younger brother get everything. You start chucking their shit, though. I got everything I needed. I didn't like the toys he liked. Period. So you throw his so shit away. So why would you throw his shit away? If he you got everything. He, he couldn't yeah, throw my was, shit away. I was 10 years older than him. Yo, Tom, he was mad. Yeah. He was so, mad. So nope. Don't worry. Hey, bro, it's, it's firstborn syndrome. Okay. I had the same thing. He, I jumped and broke my brother's bike, dog. You <laughs> jumped and broke his bike? Yeah, because my bike, it was, um, I basically had to piece it together. Like, it was like a T. Murray frame. It had like, oh, Murray. like, okay. uh, BMX, uh, Parts. Yeah, well, it was BMX. T BMX, BMX was Team BMX, right. right? And it I had like Kawara Hara freaking handlebars and doggone, uh, I don't even remember the rims, but it was all chrome. And then my brother for his birthday, you know, after I've been riding the same damn bike for three years, you know, trying to keep it together, this motherfucker could get the brand new Huffy. Uh, what was the Huffy? Those are bigs on the, the, ramp the black and yeah. gold one. Yeah. The one that everybody was like, yo! Yeah. And I'm like, it was one of the first ones that had the double brakes wow. and, the, and the full Ooh. rotating uh, handlebars because it had the rotator in the middle. He had yeah. the back pegs too? Ba no, he didn't have back pegs. He Ooh. didn't have the back pegs, but he had everything else. He had the, the cool <coughs> gold spokes on it. And I'm looking at my bike and his brand new, got all the little safety uh, sponge shits on the handlebars and on the crotch bar and shit. I don't like how you did that. So that was a pause. That was a yeah. You yeah, can't yeah, see it on the camera. So fuck I that. saw that. <laughs> he saw that. You can't like... see that shit. I don't know what you're talking about. So, but yeah. he had to do one. So yeah. you know, uh, and he was laughing at me about something, and then all the kids in the neighborhood was like, ah, ah, ah. so at that point, y'all had the whole smash. I jumped off the flower box on the, on the stoop, both feet, boom, 
bent his frame and bent his uh, front spokes. So, uh, damn, what smell was here? Said, fuck yo, about this. <laughs> yo, <laughs> yo put a he, in this shit. he would be a bad, he'd be like, yo, because y'all got me afterwards. So I went to my uh, our friend Thomas, who used to repair everybody's bikes. Yeah. We moved the front tire to the back, right? Mm-hmm. So you couldn't see it. And Thomas did everything he could to, to bend it back in shape. But it still had a wobble. Mm-hmm. So when he ride, it was doing that, right? Yeah, that'd be the worst. So we used to tell that nigga, yo, that wobble make it faster. And this <laughs> and he, he got like this and shit, the shit wobble. He be you doing a fight fuck this. <laughs> fucked up individual. And, yo, as bad as it was, my boys looked out. Shout out to, to my West Brain name. They, everybody would like slow up on their bike to let him be ahead of us. Right. So everybody made it look like he was faster than everybody. <laughs> he's like, ah, he's like, yeah, he's like ah, ah, yeah, I got the fast bike now. It's oh. like, yeah, just don't tell mom. <laughs> <laughs> nigga hit one pebble. It's a rap ski. That nigga, that nigga well, a since, since we know your mama watches this, I, I can't she wait know. until she comment. She comment <laughs> on YouTube, mama. She know. And Mel, comment too, dog. Yeah. So we, let them, to, yo, to uh, corroborate the story, let them know that what I'm saying is real, real. But yeah. Let us know how you felt about that shit for real. <laughs> yeah. He was mad as shit. I know. He was so mad. Happy. Until. That's why he moved to Cali. <laughs> right. <laughs> have that shit against him. Remember that bike, nigga? Every time he sees a bike, he gets teary eyed. <laughs> yeah. like, oh, damn. I he thought I was fast. Yo, he did, man. That was fucked up. It was, but everybody would, um,. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> literally wrote his ass like wrote a make a wish motherfucker. Like make him think he's fast. <laughs> Give him the like, last shot at the end of the I game. So nobody boys. play defense. <laughs> <laughs> Let him run the ball in the end zone. Don't nobody. Go, go, Johnny, go! I love you, go! He's like he's just like, going straight to the sunset. Yo, right into the sunset. Yo, you can hear the cherry to the fire music though. He's like doo 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 doo. Yo, we all in the back watching his back tire wobble and shit. <laughs> it's wobbling back and forth. Welcome to like, everybody stand back, Keith. That shit falls. <laughs> I was like, yo, yo, let him win, man. Let him win. Because if not, I'm going to get in punishment, man. I ain't trying to be on punishment. Yeah, yeah. I ain't trying to be in the house all summer because I broke this expensive yo, mom, bike that my mom's bought. She didn't notice it when he fucking came in the house? No. Nah. Because he, he, he ran and raved about the bike. He was like, mom, my bike is real fast now. I was like, shh. He said, now. Well, yeah, 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 like, before. yo, nigga, watch them prepositions. Watch them actual words. <laughs> <nigga. laughs> <laughs> don't nigga, watch don't add verbs, nigga. Don't, don't be now. <laughs> like, just I'm your mic is fast. Right now. What? <laughs> and he's like, oh, oh okay. <laughs> I was like, you about to fuck it up for me, <laughs> But um, he believed that shit. He believed it, and so it was. Wow. So it was. So he it was lived like, a lie yeah. because of you. So time Yes. Out. Right? Yes, to so, save my ass in my supper. Yes, he so lived that. How life. old was he when he found out? Uh, we were grown. So time out. Because oh, <laughs> I forgot that's about a it. Long but secret, bro. We was grown, nigga. In my neighborhood, I don't know about yours. We niggas like to ride other niggas' bikes. Yep. Like yo, let me ride your shit. Blah blah blah. No it. one wanted to ride his bike. That wasn't a giveaway. First you of all, you had the fastest bike, first, and no one wanted to ride. Every last one of our mothers said the same thing. Don't let nobody on your bike. What they said and what we did is always no, no. two different things. But see, here's the thing. You let somebody on your bike, your shit will get snatched. I know that. I've so, come that generation. Um, uh, I'm yeah. just saying, uh-uh. niggas would, niggas, these are your mm-hmm. boys. We mm-hmm. would all swap out by, yo, let me ride your shit for a little bit. Ride your shit. Well, and okay. niggas, niggas would go to the store and come back like, oh, what you doing? My mom's mm-hmm. always came and mm-hmm. saw you. Mm-hmm. So, it was, you know, the outsiders, but niggas in my block, in my neighborhood, mm-hmm. yeah. No, no, no. Now they could ride it on our block, like right there on the, on the street about. on the curb. That's what I'm saying. So you talking about going to the store? To I'm the saying, nigga? He did this, they did the shit, and you be like, "What the fuck you doing?" Well, and he not paying attention. You playing your bike is down. You playing they, handball or you playing football, football, football whatever. Yeah. And your bike is down. Like, yo, let me go to the store real quick. Blah, 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 whatever it is, your sold your shit sold faster, whatever. That type of shit. No one grabbed his bike to do none of that shit. Was yo, nobody away? grabbed none of our bikes though. Mm-hmm. On our, I mean, not because they didn't want to. But ours was, yo, my mom said no, I could ride it. And we were literally, we were literally, yo, we was like, nah, fuck that. No, fuck that. Fuck that. My mother said, if I catch anybody on that bike, I'm taking the bike in. You ain't riding it the rest of the summer. Ain't taking that chance, dog. I need proof. So moms, (coughs) get ready to uh, comment on Facebook. Absolutely. She'll tell you. Or on YouTube comments. I had a boy that had a bike that we put down. And some outside niggas that we used to have beef with came in, 
and took that nigga's bike while he's playing football. And I chased them niggas down on my bike. And I end up, you know, I don't know how Taking I that ass whooping. I never took <laughs> I didn't take no, I didn't take no ass whooping. You took that ass whooping for your boy's bike. I didn't bike. take no you ass whooping. You a trooper, dog. I didn't take no Shout ass whooping. I, I salute you, dog. I didn't take no <laughs> ass whooping. And my brother could tell you the story. They took your bike too, nigga. They took my bike. I took the sneakers and everything. Walking you home, dance on it. Telephone lock. I mean, choo choo. I'm like, yo, mom. There's yo, no mom. stories out there them that shit happen. Hey, man. My brother could cooperate with that shit. Hey, dog. The Medidas are still up there on the line, ain't they? I didn't wear these. But anyway, you have the show, the show, the show tops? No, I yeah, didn't do it. Yeah. I never wore these. I he had them run DMC like, specials. Team Nike's I had the show tops in high school. The only other sneakers I ever bought besides Nike was Grant Hill's Free Locks. That's it. I never uh, bought a D. All right, well, tell your story, bro. I was just fucking with you. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. I fought, I fought the nigga for it, and then my boys caught up to it because I knew his parents, were, they were fucking like African, and them niggas was like... This, we won't see this nigga forever. Right. And I had, I just felt like, but again, there's a lot of that. I stuck up for my boys type shit. That's how I was. But riding a bike, having somebody, because his bike was the better bike. Yeah. Again, mm-hmm. If you know anything, yeah, you Africa, snatched the best, bu- best looking bike. The African right. niggas, they got money, so whatever he wanted, he got. And I was like, nah, man, I can't. But he wasn't, he wasn't aggressive. He wasn't that type of way. He mm-hmm. was the tallest nigga in the group. He was already, he was 11 this years old, like already a, at 6'1". A second skinny tall dude that he supposedly beat up. I didn't beat him. I didn't say, I didn't say, African I, African I, didn't say I beat the nigga. The African nigga was my friend. Oh, oh, I didn't say oh, I, I oh, fought oh, the nigga I was 6'8". Okay, okay. I just said, I mean 6'8". I six, thought you eight, said nine. that. Oh, yeah, you did yeah, say yeah, the African I, had the better I, bike. I, I, so, yeah. I said he had the better bike. Yeah, yeah. These niggas was fucking regular niggas, regular height niggas at 11 years old or 12 years old. Yo, Cliff's always been a kung fu ninja, man. I tell you. Yeah, he don't even need the uniform. He just go outside butt naked and just... No. Disappear. I started at sixth grade. Yeah, about that. <laughs> He'll eat one fortune cookie and see fucking the turtle, turtle cartoon. Here he goes. The motherfucking fortune say you will defeat all your enemies. It was like, that's, right. that's it. I have my glow. I'm the mayor now. That's it. I have my glow early. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? You got the glow. <laughs> that's, my, that's my favorite movie of all time, yeah. too. Fuck uh, that, man. That's movie bullshit. That shit, that, shit, <laughs> that shit back then? Thank come you. on, A's uh, movies? That's a cult classic. It, it, it is. It's, uh, come uh, on. Yeah, it was garbage. But that yeah. shit is a cult classic. Never had to be duplicated. Show no. Vanity. Come that on, movie show. bothered me from the beginning, Why? man. Because I was, I was that kid that was always into the sci-fi and the supernatural type shit. No. And it just looked You never watched fucking bro. Kung Fu at noontime Absolutely on Saturdays? Absolutely, I did. Absolutely. But see, I love that. That was... It wasn't no motherfucking nigga in the hood talking about some shit and then, like, getting this fake-ass glow that Catching. you can see that it doesn't match over everything. Nigga, you were not have the eye. You don't have the eye for it. Right, right. You wasn't looking, was looking for all that CGI shit. You are a martial artist. I was. I was Come back on. then. I mean, now, now, I didn't have anything to compare it to. You know, I'm not comparing it to today's standards. Right. Now it's absolutely trash. But compared but to, like, to that, I was like, something's not right this compared to Kung Fu Theater. Come on, man. It just... The Kung Fu nigga called yeah, bullets with his teeth. Come on, nigga, that shit is classic. <laughs> yes. He got the he got the girl at Yo. the end. Nigga, Kung bro, he, Fu he, I got the power. Right. No, niggas was throwing Who's the motherfucking Show motherfucking hats with razors on them across the room and snatching off whole head pieces. But the also niggas dope. There was also flying off mountains. The string in the movie. Yes, they was flying off oh, mountains and shit going from right. mountain yeah. mountain top to mountain. But that was right. But they was accomplishing something. These niggas what was just in the hood punching each other. Us. These niggas was flying up and down fucking mountains, sounded like jeans flapping in the wind. Right. Like, That's bullshit. <laughs> That's it. Who wants to do that shit? And talking before the words go, I, are you? I'm, 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 well, I mean, we man. know That's why that was. That's a dub. We know why that was. Come on, man. But just the, the cinematography of it, it like, it, it brought me somewhere that was like, yo, I want to aspire to that. These niggas in the hood. The only thing this though, motherfucker was like, more relatable. Pulling his head back, talking about you stepped on my chucks. Who the fuck was wearing chucks? That my was bad. Mo- that was more relatable. Who was wearing chucks? Back then, back then. <laughs> that was more bro. relatable. You was yeah. wearing chucks back then? Nah, I never had chucks. Yeah, were well, you wearing chucks no. back then? And remember, the movie was in New York. Yeah, it wasn't LA. It was LA yeah. niggas was wearing chucks. Right. Yeah. We never fucked it with chucks. It matches outfit. So when. He wouldn't even wear Jordan Jordan Levins. Jordan's back then. Right. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. British Knights, fucking Elises, fucking uh skips, nigga, yeah. G.I. Joes, kangaroos. They don't, the the don't have the same <laughs> with the zipper? Yeah. What? It don't have the Charlie Brown. He had the Charlie Brown. It don't have the same feel when you kick a nigga in the chest. 
Oh my God! Yeah, because on Chucks you can feel your foot. That's right. In the ch- yeah, you got That's no exactly cushion. They no like ninja tabby boots. There you go. <laughs> with just the toe like flip, with flip flops for ninjas. <laughs> <laughs> So it's perfect. The thing about those old school kung fu movies, none of the females were hot, man. They all look none of them. They all had their fake hair. Like, how the fuck can you tell this bitch was finally the other bitch? (laughs) (laughs) I wanna fuck with your sister. How can you tell which was the sister? (laughs) I don't know. I I had an affinity for 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 him. I, they, I, they, I love kung fu movies, but after a while, after you sure. see one or two, like it's like almost so similar yeah, movies. Yeah. I'm like, oh, okay, bad guy. He has the fake hair. Everybody got like that fucking V <laughs> fucking <laughs> pull back, the V pull back and shit. They all with the hair in the front. Yeah. yeah, they all got wooden slippers yeah. and be fighting niggas uh, with swords. Uh, I've warned you once. Oh, right. <laughs> if I have to get up out of this chair, you niggas all. Niggas run, niggas run a mad fast with wooden sandals on on rocks on pebbles. Yo, they was killing. <laughs> you know what? Was, you know what was a good one though? Shaolin versus Wu Tang. Yeah. And the Seven Deadly Sins. Yeah, all the okay, Shaolin so series was dope. Yeah. All of them was dope. I, I'm not even gonna get it, man. We be yeah, here. The all last wow. joint I watched really with them like that was Crouch Tiger Hidden Dragon. That was about that it. Was that, the, that was no Iron Monkey. You ever saw that one? Oh, yeah. Y'all, so, y'all are jumping fucking errors right now. I'm just now. saying that they like, are. That's a totally different. But I'm saying they kept the essence of it yeah. to right, right. to some of the story. And they, they bought it yeah. to now, now or more recent it's cinematography. Right. Yeah. But the storylines. Until that nigga Child Young Fat was sitting up in the tree with the Jade Dagger behind his back just on a branch doing this shit. Yeah, I was like, okay, that's just, a bit much. Right. <laughs> Where's the wires? This nigga chilling, right. chilling on a thin ass branch like... <laughs> Super fucking agile, three hundred pound nigga. Come on, I was like, come on, dog. He was the original kung fu, but it did have the essence. It did have the essence of it. It did. Okay, (laughs) let's get to this last. What you? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought we were over. I thought, yeah. (laughs) We went left again. All right, get here. Okay, the last. Would you rather for today? Would you rather eat one (laughs) hundred hot thumbtacks dipped in COVID spit? And HIV blood. I remember this. Uh huh. Or have Pinky, Pinky the star, tenderize your anus with her hammer dildo still dripping from her playing with it, unprotected. I feel like you added something that wasn't in yeah, before. Yeah, he man. added something. And he added the, the dildo dripping from her playing with us. So. No, no. I don't remember that shit. The part that I added was unprotected. That's the only thing I added to that one. I feel like I don't remember that part. Yeah. I don't think he was I there for that show. I was here. Yeah. Oh, that was that's right. I was that's like, right. I don't remember the pinky. Yeah, shit. you know, because you don't watch the show. When yeah. You, you. you know. Yeah. You <laughs> <watch> the show. <laughs> All right, go ahead, man. Yeah. What's the first one again? Okay, again. Would you rather eat 100 hot thumbtacks dipped in COVID spit and HIV blood, or have Pinky tenderize your anus with her hammer dildo oh, still dripping from her playing with it unprotected? What did she have? She has HIV or she has herpes? Herpes. HPVs. Right. So you're right, going so like this. HIV or herpes? I take hey, the herpes. She's still your, look. In your hey, butt. Hey, in your butt. And yeah. you know what? They so about, is, about four years ago, they said in about 15 years, HIV is going to be no more threat than That's if you herpes. live that long. Of course you are. People, they got commercials everywhere. People are just dancing and shit if and having a insurance. good ass time with HIV. If you got insurance. Because they don't got Health the, insurance. Marketplace. Everybody oh, got his shit. Nah, nah, nah. That marketplace oh, is different. That, that, that marketplace, marketplace ain't what it, was, what it used to be. Man, yeah, it's shit. expensive. Yeah. It wasn't, what it, it wasn't what yeah, it was supposed to be. Yeah, Trump did. Spent the fuck out that shit. He, he yeah. sure did. Um, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, uh, go with you pinky going shit. Pinky? Yeah, because I'm a hope she didn't have an outbreak. And that's how I get around this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Take a kind of self. Bitch, you ain't have one. Hey, so as if she have an outbreak, the virus is still on it. It's not the same without the outbreak. He like go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> hey, just to make sure, y'all y'all know the hammer that that she uses on no. other chicks, right? No, no. I don't know. I could, Are I you watch. serious? Yeah, I never watched it. I don't watch shit. porn. I don't know. All right, we're gonna have to put it in the group so you guys understand. Yo, this thing is not playing. This thing is not I, playing. I don't. I don't watch bitches play with dildos. I don't like doing shit in real life. So, so, no, I'm not watching them. Put it in somebody else. Another bitch. I'm here for meat. Meat action, meat to meat action. Pause, nigga. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> <laughs> right, pause. <laughs> no, I'm not. No, 
You heard him. He said he's here he for me to, to be asked. I wasn't thinking that. <laughs> nah, bro. You can't take that. I back. want my fucking pause. Pause. You out here I having was... sausage parties, nigga? No, nigga. <laughs> I'm talking about actual skin. I want more. my kibasa or you. <laughs> you sound like a beef beef jerky commercial. <laughs> you know what I mean. I need that beef to Cliff be look, action. Cliff looking for that hot beef injection. <laughs> wow. Wow. Why right. would you say that, dog? I meant skin to skin. God damn. That's not what you said, though. Wow. Oh, man. Anyway, skin to skin. So I don't watch. I don't know if I'm playing with this shit. But what is it? It's like fucking. It sounds like a. Ridiculous. Like 13, 14 inches. Fucking she, she carries that wrist. around with her? Yeah, when she does the scenes with chicks, that thing is like almost as big as her. Because you know, Pinky Mad Short. And I never seen. I really never, the, never. The only, knew the only chick that took it was, um, uh, what's the dark skin chick that got all the, the enhancement? The real dark skin. Uh, Mystique? Victoria. Victoria. Cakes? Yeah. Victoria Kicks is the average to compete. There's a lot of motherfuckers that like Victoria Kicks now. No, 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 no. I'm talking about she's the only one that, that took the whole thing. Because, you know, Victoria be out there looking for damn horse nuts and shit. She's the only one. Everybody else, like, got to pull up. Like, halfway. Like, okay, that's just too much. All right? Mm-mm. She ain't get Ava Devon because Ava Devon be on that bullshit, too. She got damn near all the time. She even got uh old girl that only takes it in the butt. Oh, really? Um... I know exactly what you're talking about. Light skin joint? Light skin. She's still doing uh, shit. She got her. She got uh, Cherokee. She got oh. Beauty. She got Jada Fire. She got... Oh, now my Jada. Yes. Yo. Jada's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Jada. man, why are you grabbing your no. nipples, nigga? <laughs> Not Jada. Oh, yeah, shit. Not okay, Jada. ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get out of here and get Cliff not, a minute. Not Jada. <laughs> Give him the towel, son. Give him Hell the towel. Hell no, he get my towel, nigga. Here, not take him. Take Jada. a motherfucking napkin. Oh, he, he, oh, bruh. Jada fires the ball. Let, let, let's calm Jada down a bit. Top five. Let's calm down a bit. Yeah, but Jada can take, okay, yeah. But so, Jada so couldn't smack. white dudes. I don't like that part. What's up, that? Jada's a fucking volcano when it comes to squirting Sorry, across the room. Did. I don't even understand yeah, it. That, that shit doesn't, like that shit, you know? it defies physics. Yeah, she do. She's a hydrant. I don't even understand it. Because they, you know, everybody says that's piss, which... It is. It is. But I've never seen somebody piss across the room. She can literally go across the room. She's a super soaker. Wow. Yeah, it it doesn't make sense. She... Almost on the band. Right. And it's... Back to back to back to back to back to back. Yeah. Like, I bet you ain't dehydrated. For long periods of time, too. I'm like, God damn. You're not dehydrated, bitch? (laughs) Like, someday, right? That's a lot of Hennessy she drank. Uh, It's some. Shut up, All right, so y'all y'all gonna take the? I mean, like I said, it's like thirteen. Just I didn't know what the hammer was. Thirteen, like, fourteen doing. inches. I'm have a Yo, it's like like <laughs> like the that H- big around. It's the HIV for me. Another yeah. thing. And it's it's, it's dipped in her and. Yeah, I'm just hoping she. Has, she have an she, outbreak. Yo, day. she's efficient. <laughs> she's efficient. She be have brothers like. I don't Wait know, a minute, bro. let me. I'm how how do I get that strong? Wait a minute. I don't want to do either one. You talk about jaw dropping, though. You can be like. Yeah, I never, I've never, and I watch a lot of it, I've never seen it. All right, but, so so you're taking 100 hot thumbtacks dipped in COVID spit. No, I'm not taking it. So you're saying. taking pinky, pinky with the... Right. I changed my mind. I'm doing the COVID. <laughs> <laughs> with yeah. the HIV. I know. The, you got to eat them, dog. You got to swallow... You got to eat as well. COVID spit hot and... Hot thumbtacks. Hot. So as soon as they get down, they're not, poking it, holes and shit. I'm trying to swallow. <laughs> With COVID spit. <laughs> I understand. And HIV blood. Blood. <laughs> Magic is over there fucking stewing that motherfucker up. Like, wait till they get a hold of this shit. He's <laughs> here, Here's Here's my theory. Oh, here's my theory. Okay, let's hear it. Let's hear it. Cliff, hold my hand on this one. <laughs> Jesus. All right. <laughs> they have found as you said mm-hmm. medicine for hiv all those things that, with prep that goes to like zero 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 yeah. point one right you can't pass it if it's undetectable right like i see the commercial seven billion for herpes they haven't found it puppy all they got is the v the valtrex shit and that's, that shit that, only works if you're not that's having an my outbreak. logic everything else i don't you know what i mean that's but all to and, degree, and COVID, we, all, COVID, we all have some herpes like type shit in us nah, anyway nah. Yeah, just not that type of shit, but I'm doing herpy like types. I was going about his bumping the lip the other day. No, you ain't seen that. 
I see no bump on my lip. I mean, he, he's like not allergies. wrong, though. We all do. They, they, that's, that's my 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 logic. They say 54% of Americans above the age of 35 have it, whether they know they have some it or not. Some kind of herpes. Yeah, so it's some type it's, of... It's simplex one, two simplex types. two, yeah. It's it's one or two. Either the kind that affect your face, like yeah. cold sore, so to speak, yeah. or the kind yeah. that affect yeah. that area. Yeah. Yeah. Bumpy de bump, 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 bump. What you got? <laughs> what you got, nigga? <laughs> what the fuck you got? Shit. Fuck you. <laughs> Which one you got? Man? You gonna have to say one I got after we fucked fuck that chicken, nigga. That's what you gonna have. <laughs> you gonna have the chicken. Oh my god! You gonna have fucking feathers Chick- coming out the balls. Chick- Chicky herpes complex three, nigga. That's some new shit. <laughs> so the re- so the- <laughs> we gonna have our own shit, bro. Hell yeah, nigga. We'll Pinky, start- Pinky ain't got this shit yet. <laughs> So you got the 2023 oh, version of this shit. You look at people like, oh, you think you got bitch? Nah, nah, bitch, I nigga, got you. I ra- unwrap this shit, shit, right off the rack. <laughs> <laughs> I got chicken hurts. Pluck, pluck, motherfucker. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so the. So the this shit break out on lemon pepper. <laughs> so <it's> the, <laughs> hit, hit it with the eyes. Lemon pepper. There we go. Hey, get lemon pepper bumps. <laughs> I'm like, yo, you taste like a little salty, bro. You're a little salty. Why is this shit like a lemon pepper? Oh, y'all are retarded. This shit be curry chicken. What is it, curry this week? This shit got like jerk lip. Got <laughs> <laughs> a jerk lip. Wow. Like a teriyaki <sighs> lip. Oh, God. <laughs> what is that, like Kung Pao chicken lip? That nigga said you got jerk lip. <laughs> It's called sweet and sour, son. Sweet and sour. Oh my god. Oh my god. Let me recant so we can <laughs> for y'all think of the two hundred flavors of chicken right. and put it on niggas' lips. <laughs> that, that, nigga got, that nigga got raging Cajun. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh nigga <my> mild. <laughs> Uh, my lower lip is medium, but my bottom lip is hot. <laughs> it's tongue torch. <laughs> honey mustard. <laughs> Spicy honey mustard. <laughs> okay. So we got... Oh, my God. So we got... Uh, let's see. What's the first one? So we... you both taking the chicken pox. The chicken with the chicken pox. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So that one wins this week. So... Uh, <coughs> Razor... Oh, a thousand cuts loses this week alright so trip and fall face first into porcupine quiz mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you're both doing that yep, yep. wow we both got daughters oh man I was hoping to use the angry butt set one more time though, nope but, yeah. okay go right next to the Mike Tyson shit I might put them two against each other no, now no. <laughs> they lost that, that's gonna be the the NIT the, <laughs> that's gonna be the <laughs> NIT the right the Cohen event the Cohen event uh, <laughs> And then this last one, we got to split, <coughs> right? Mm-hmm. So one's taking our hot thumbtacks, and the other's taking That's Pinky's me. hammer dildo. Yeah, so. See, if you have more people, it's easier to get rid of. Yeah, but not. So I can still use either. <laughs> Great, we got the split decision. Nah, so next week, you, you know, you ask them those. Oh, parts. I got a whole another one. <coughs> yeah, but you got to ask them so <coughs> they go on this one. Oh, no, <coughs> yep. no, they're not here. They're not oh, here. That's why. So you all left. Well, Kenny ain't been here two weeks. So what, I'm going to go back and recant the last. That's six of them that I got to go back and do because he wasn't here. Send him a text here. message. Ah, nah. That, that, that's, not, that's not part of the fun. Not yeah. Everybody has a, a feel with that. So let's let's let the audience vote on it on YouTube. YouTube comments. Fair enough. Fair enough. Like YouTube, YouTube or Facebook. Because yeah. I do put the would you rather is yeah. on Facebook as well. They have so, the comment. The real short version since Facebook only lets you get one minute. Wow. So, yeah, that's why they're real short and then on YouTube, I make the, the, the we, we make yeah. the long one. So, okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, after you like and subscribe, or if you're on YouTube and you're watching the uh, Would You Rathers, go ahead and, and, and settle that for us. Uh, the third one, which you'll hear it when we say it. All right. So, we got to split on that. Cool. All right. So, that's where we are. Ladies and gentlemen, that's going to conclude this week's uh, Would You Rather. Guys, once again, thanks for playing. It's been absolutely hilarious. Oh, man. This fool got us cutting letters and shit. Right. 
You know what I mean? We didn't, use the, we didn't use the rest of the letters. That's because only three people showed up. I'm pretty sure we'd have used other ones if everybody was here, but we you know, we'll just, get to we it. We're just going to leave it here? Yeah, we'll just need it, up, need it up, leave it here, leave theirs, and then, you know, when the shows come up, we'll we'll work it into other shows, stuff like that. So, it won't go completely away, so it's not for not, so don't worry about it. We're still going to use it. All right. So, anybody got anything else? Nope. You remember how the last show ended? When anybody got anything ended, else? Right? I want some chicken. <laughs> right, I'm trying to get to the store yeah. this one right now. He's too. talking about lemon pepper and shit. As I scroll, anybody got anything? Yeah, no, 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 we're good. No, we're good. You good. Already. You sure? no, no need for no bonuses. You know how that shit worked last time. You, yeah. You sure? Mm hmm. Oh, I'm just about to push. I ain't going to do it again this week. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> <laughs> once again. That shit was hilarious. <laughs> thanks for tuning in. And uh, if you haven't seen it, go check out uh, last week's show. Um, where, you know, I also put the preview up so you could get a, a small preview or see what it was about because it was absolutely ungodly hilarious. So I challenge Cliff to watch it. Wow. I challenge you. All right. <laughs> I gave him some Cliff notes. <laughs> <laughs> it's the second part of your homework assignment. I challenge you. We want a book report on last week's show. At least <laughs> a short one. You don't have to watch the whole hour and 45 I did, minutes. I did right. watch that one. You did? Yeah, that shit was hilarious. Yeah, that was I watched the whole shit from the beginning to end. Yeah. What you ain't, I unsend my comment. I said, is it the one with Bob? And I watched the whole shit again. Yeah, he did. Was, that was the best part. Okay. So I did watch that. I didn't see any comments. Yeah, I ain't seen no comments on you. The comment right in the group. Oh. Right, when I see. said, did you put he, it up He's scared there? to put it out in the world because he, you know. What are you talking about? Yeah. They see my live. I posted immediately, so they watched the whole shit. Yeah, so his his, his 45 people on live. Niggas watch. more than 45 <laughs> people. Fuck all y'all. Yo, it's like 45. Those are bots. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, See, that nigga you? trying to call <laughs> Who follow you besides <laughs> fucking diabetes and arthritis? Motherfucker. Shout out to comedian CJ Trout's followers. Everybody follows. Yeah. <laughs> they want to Which, you know, he, he be undercutting the show because, you know, he, he take all his files and keep them to himself like a little stingy yeah. kid. That's the one that we would snatch the ball from and kick it on the roof. He should so be he like, get it all back. right, whoever's watching this, what it says, one... Uh, <laughs> please go to YouTube. Your shit. Go to the YouTube channel and support. Put your shit up there, man. I don't put it in. Put it up there, nigga. Oh, what? Why not? I don't do that. Why not? It's How do we thing. do it as the show? As man. one, bro. Nigga, you don't want He's no. You don't want your insurance motherfuckers to see what you be doing. Yo. You know what? I'm quite heavy duty, cutie booty <laughs> on the show. You know what? The niggas. I'm not buying insurance from niggas. <laughs> I deal with folks with Call big money. Call U-Haul, booties, shooties, I don't whatever. nobody with big wallets to watch this stuff. Exactly. <laughs> Ain't that some shit. I'm yeah. smart. Too bad he, he don't realize. Those the big wallet motherfuckers going to start passing. I only pass it to people. I need to start passing it to more ghetto people. I be passing it to <coughs> cats I know that got some in their pocket. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we going to get out of here. I was ready to give you a pound. Like, good yeah. brother. I'm like, <laughs> you see what I'm saying? I definitely want chicken out. <laughs> 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 All right. Up too. All right. I'm King Bear in the building. Comedian CJ Travis. Big Tone, the heavy duty cute. And for everybody else who isn't here today, we're going to get up out of here. Peace. Peace.